In this segment, I will explain how the push and the pop operations work. Here we are moving two to ECX, right? So at this point, ECX shall be two. What is the next thing we are doing? We are pushing the ECX value to the stack. So you can imagine stack grows from high address to low address, right? So we will be pushing the value to, we may have a lot of other things on the stock stack. We don't know exactly at this point, uh, it's okay. So a lot of items are on the stack. As soon as we do a push, um, stack pointer went down and then we created space for the new data that is two. And this is where the stack pointer is currently pointing to. What will happen uh, when we do pop? The current value will be transferred to whatever register we say here. So in this case, EBX, that means the two will be transferred to EBX. Okay, so EBX will have value two, all right? And then the stack pointer will also go up. So it's no longer pointing to here, it's pointing here, okay? Value two is still on the stack. It's just the stack pointer is now going up by four bytes. So this is the direction of stack growth. When you, whenever you do push, the stack grows in this direction. When you do pop, it goes in this direction. That's, that's basically it. And uh, here is the exit call. You're making call to the exit function uh, with the status of EBX. Okay, in this case, when we compile and run, EBX state will be two. So we should get a two as the exit status to the shell. Let's confirm all of this now very quickly. Okay, let me compile this first link and run. Check the return status. Yeah, the return status is two as we expected. We can load it into GDB and study it. So this is the code I wrote. We can put a breakpoint and see what happens to the push. Okay. So I'm going to put a breakpoint here and um, run it. First, I will examine the status of the ECX, right? Which should be having the value two, two, yeah. In hex is same as regular two. Print the value of ESP to figure out where is it pointing to before we do the push. So it's pointing to this particular address. Now let's do a push and see what happens next. It should subtract four bytes when you do push. Okay. Yeah, you see here. If you subtract four bytes from A0, you get 9C. Okay, this is in hex. All right, so push means the stack pointer will go down by four bytes. And let's do a pop. So the stack pointer should get back the old value. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, you see the same value is recovered. So that's basically it. This is how push and pop actually works. Uh, we can do one more modification and then wrap it up quickly. So let's say I push one more value here, okay? Push to EDX. I push the value of EDX to the stack. And now the pop will take the recent value. Okay, the reason is that first we do push ECX, right? Which means two is pushed and then three is pushed. So the stack pointer is pointing to the place where three is. Therefore, pop will actually get the value three. Okay, as soon as we do pop, EBX will have value three. Okay, let's confirm that as well. Yeah, it's three. So to wrap up the discussion, push means the stack pointer will go down first and then data will be placed at that particular location. POP means the content of that stack pointer will be transferred to the location and then the stack pointer will go up, okay.